Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. And in my last video, we did an aerial tour of the property just to kind of give you guys the layout of where things are and how much actual space we're taking up. And in that video, I mentioned at the end that something was missing from the farm and that there was something new. And you guys had a lot of guesses, a lot of, some were pretty funny, some were like, your sunglasses, and like, well, I was inside, so I wasn't wearing my sunglasses. But what I was actually talking about were some structures. And some of you guys thought you saw a van. I think you probably saw the Tahoe, which is what we plow with. In the winter time and then some of you guys saw what you thought was a trailer well that was not a trailer that was a dumpster so when we moved in here three summers ago there was a shed in there it was an old garden shed and there was a hole in the roof and the hole had been there for years and the previous owner said you really should have that taken down it's dangerous it's rotting and I said no I'll get some use out of it well it turns out they were right and it was pretty rotten and the hole in the roof was never repaired it just got worse and all of the wood inside of it had just started to fall apart and they left it jam-packed full of stuff it was all this fertilizer and buckets and just a lot of garden items they just left right in this shed. And because it was all old stuff, the fertilizer, the bags of fertilizer had gotten damaged and wet and it was just no good anymore. And the structure itself was falling apart and that's taking up a lot of real estate inside my garden fence, my deer fence. We really decided it was time to get rid of it. So we rented a dumpster, they dropped it off. It was just the easiest way to, the easiest, quickest and cheapest way actually. Renting a dumpster is not that expensive. I am a little bit concerned that taking this shed out is going to kind of eliminate a lot of the, um, well, the snakes live there. So my snakes called that shed home. It was the snake shed. So I am a little concerned. I might set up some rocks, like a pile of rocks over where it used to be just so they have somewhere to go. I really, snakes are, I know a lot of you guys are anti-snake, but snakes are amazing in a garden and on a farm. They take care of a lot of critters, so I don't have to. He put the bucket on and he's washing it. Everything has to be like level in the top of the dumpster when they pick it up. <laughs> there she goes. It's okay. It's okay. You can see like how rotten the wood was. Like it was so rotten. Ew. Yep, it's rotten. It stinks. I'm so glad it's gone. Bless you. Also, good job. <laughs> Hi. Dog chicken, you're still safe. You're still safe. It's not completely cleaned up yet, but it just looks so different over there. I mean, obviously, there's so much left to clean up, but this is going to enable us to completely till all of that up inside the deer fence and then next season use the bed maker to make long rows inside of there so i don't have to use the short ones everything else in this pile is gonna go we're gonna do it over the next couple of days um make sure we get rid of everything gonna go around with the metal detector make sure we get all the nails and stuff like that just because we are going to be in this area so much working i don't want any accidents to happen and a lot of these nails were really rusty and nobody wants to have a tetanus shot are we going to be replacing this shed that answer is no. That I don't see an immediate need for a structure inside here when our other shed's right there. My hoop house is gonna be right over there. And we do have plans for a pole barn for my office and my equipment in the next couple of years, definitely. So I, I don't see a reason to have a shed in here. It was just taking up valuable space that's in the protected deer area. And this real estate is valuable, okay? No shed. There were actually a few of you who thought that that greenhouse structure was new. Um, nope, that's not new. In fact, that's been there for years since we moved in. I've never put plastic over it though because I'm growing grapes there. So this is just a, it's kind of similar to my other um, eight by 10 foot little greenhouse. You know, the ones that are a couple hundred dollars that you can set up. This is the same thing. This is actually two of them attached and I covered the entire thing with chicken wire and I actually have, I don't have any grapes but this is the most, the, the longest grapevine that I have. Uh, and there's another one down here. Those are the only two that made it. But oh my gosh, there's an amazing Rebecca. I gotta show you. The Rebecca patch clearly is like on the way out. It's just done. This was where the Rebecca 
the snapdragons, the ageratum, that's where all this stuff was. So this is kind of like the cool flower section that's no longer usable, but check that one out. Oh my word, she's pretty. I really love that. So you can see a lot of these plants got powdery mildew towards the end of the season, along with my zinnias and stuff like that. All right, that was totally a detour from what I was showing you, but actually this way I can get an outside shot of the grapevine. Yeah, so this is kind of a better look at um, just the grapevine that's going growing up. And I had a grape, probably 10 grapevines in here. And uh, yep, they didn't do well. So I also do runner beans on this structure. Uh, but this is gonna come out so that we can completely till the whole entire space in here. I haven't been out here in a while and I'm finding all my little baby pumpkins that I, I just planted the baby pumpkins out here. And there are not that many of them, but oh, they're so cute. I can see several more. Um, I should collect them. It's definitely not gonna be as many as Laura from Garden Answer, but I'm just happy to get these. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love them. Oh, look at the squash bugs on that. Oh my god, that's nasty. <laughs> How was your day? Good. Thank you. Um, bring them to the porch. I was grabbing the pumpkins. I totally forgot about my dragon tongue beans. <laughs> they're like, they're ready to harvest. I actually started these in late July, but check them out. They're so cool looking and they're absolutely delicious. Right off the plant. So good. So weedy. Don't care. I've got to get a basket and harvest these. nice amount let's do a couple of pounds for sure i love eating these fresh and i also like to stir fry them up with like a little red sauce and cheese mmm so good my dad and axel are building a fort i'm so excited it's not gonna go there it's gonna go somewhere else but they're starting it <laughs> There's also something on the property that's new. And some of you guys figured it out. It was not difficult to spot. A lot of you guys were calling it a red shed. Well, in fact, it's not a shed at all. It's a fort and it's a fort that my father and my son have been building all summer long. So they started mid July, I would say. Axel got this idea. He was down with me planting the lavender and he said, mom, I think I'd like a fort down here. He was helping me out down there and I thought, you know what, that's a good idea, buddy. And my father, being you know, he built this house, he built the chicken coop that we have here, it used to be my playhouse when I was a kid, that we built that when I was eight years old. So I said, why don't you text Papa and see. And just a few days later, my dad shows up <laughs> with a truckload of wood and they start building. And it was a little bit at a time, whenever my father had free time, he would come over and spend a couple hours and, and show Axel how to do things. They were doing things, they were pretty much doing it together my father obviously doing the brunt of the work but Axel also got his hands dirty too so when it came time to staining Axel picked out the stain and my husband and Axel actually were staining it just over the weekend and then Brad <laughs> they purposely built it on the in the driveway so that it would be easier to build but then they needed to transport it down into the middle of the field where Axel wanted it the plan is for him to go backwards all the way down all the way down the hill. And uh, yeah, I was having a panic attack the entire time, but Brad was confident. No, my husband, don't like messages of safety. My husband for a living has done this for a long time, operating heavy equipment, moving things around. He's built bridges and all this other stuff. So he knows what he's doing and I'm not worried about it, but in, but in fact, I am worried about it. <laughs> So the entire time I was going, oh, ah, e, oh, ah, but also, you know, recording it just in case. <laughs> At least we would have had it on tape if it tumbled, right? So 
So we'll, Axel will have like a beanbag chair in there and he'll be able to hang out down there. No, it's not a hunting blind and no, it's not a shed. That is Axel's fort. So when, you know, maybe when Axel is an adult, it'll become my little, my little shed down there for, for keeping an extra set of rakes and stuff like that. But, but in the meantime, that's Axel's fort. And I'm so excited that he and his grandfather have that memory of building it together. And that'll be something, you know, I remember building with my father, the chicken coop, and um, that'll always be the fort that I built with my dad. And now he's got that as well. So I love it. Oh, a lot of you guys thought the pool was new. Uh, nope, this pool has been here for, uh, this was our third summer with the pool. Yeah, our third summer with the pool. A lot of you guys thought the bloopers were missing. Well, they were. I'm not gonna force bloopers. If they don't happen, I'm not gonna like, make them up just to put them in the end of the video. I can tell you that there are bloopers in this video. <laughs> anyway, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. There's something else I wanna show you. I don't know if you remember way back from my seedling tour of my seedling room, I showed you a tray of... They're here! <laughs> They're here! <laughs> Aren't they marvelous? Oh, surprisingly soft. I'm not exactly sure how you use them in arrangements, but got quite a few of them here. Not lacking anything there. These are the most beautiful ones I've ever seen. Oh my God, they're perfect. They're also everywhere. Oh my gosh, these plants are insane. Look, they're like seven feet tall. And no, they're not staked. It actually smells good, I'm surprised. They actually smell nice. Holy, that's not what I'm smelling. I'm smelling the basil. <laughs> There's so much basil. That's what smells divine. Oh. That's what smells so good. Clear. It's fine. The top's dead anyway. Bing! <laughs> what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. Yes, he is. <laughs>